All right. I think we are live now. Prism logged me off and I had to log back in to YouTube. But I think we're good. Welcome everybody. We are going for a bit of a wander today in downtown Frankfort, Kentucky. And Frankfort, Kentucky is the capital of Kentucky. So how about that? See what's back here. No go that way. No go that way. So we'll go back the way we came. But I hope everybody's doing well. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Let's see. 46 degrees Fahrenheit. And as you can see, blue skies. Hey George, how are you? Welcome, welcome. We parked the beast right over there on the street. During their terms of office from 1797 to 1914. Wow. That's a lot of governors. Sounds like a reality show. What happens when 33 governors live in an old mansion Uh, so, like I mentioned, this is the capital of Kentucky, and so there's a quaint little downtown, but there's also things like this, giant bureaucratic buildings. This is the Kentucky State Office Building on High Street. And this, right across the street, is the First Baptist Church. Not the first one ever. Just Frankfurt's First Baptist Church. Hey, Frank's here too. What's up, Frank? But these massive buildings, a lot of people work here. A lot of people work for the state. It's certainly the largest employer in Frankfurt. Hey, Colleen, how are you? Sorry there weren't very many streams this week, everybody. There was an ice storm here in Kentucky, and it wasn't the safest to be out walking. Maybe I'll cross here. Go check out, I want to check out this more modern government office building over here too. It's pretty cool. Check this one out. Massive. Is it going to work for Starbucks? Yeah, I do. What's that? Oh, I'm, do I'm doing YouTube for you. Uh, no, I live in Lexington. Okay, I'm ready to start with. Yeah.
All right, everybody. Uh, I am back. Sorry about that. Um, we had a little bit of a delay um, because I was talking to the mayor of Frankfurt. Um, and I did not want to film that. I, that's the mayor over there. Um, did not want to film that because he was out with his family. Um, and I wanted to say hello and check in. And we were talking, talking about the city. So yes, we are back, we are live, and I'm very sorry about that little bit of a delay. All right, so here we go. Look at this. This one is like a big parking garage here. And then a really neat office building. Yeah, sorry, George. Um, I don't like to film conversations with people um, that they don't know are filmed, especially uh, public folks. I don't think that's the right thing to do. But we're back. That's the good news. We're back. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. So this big giant building, this really cool one, is the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet. So, can you guys let me know? Can you hear me and see me now? It says that my mic is on and it says the camera is back on. Somebody just dropped me a little confirmation that, that we are working again. Crystal, all right, thanks Ron, great. Yeah, it's got a really strong signal right here. I guess when you're wandering around in the capital. That's what you get. So you get this interesting mix of like really, really old architecture. It's buildings that have been around forever and really modern. gigantic state buildings. <laughs> hey, Tom's here. Yeah, thank you. Colleen has dropped the confirmation. Boom! Happy bunny, hello. Good to see the whole crew today. I love walking in Frankfurt. Didn't work out. So, wanted to make sure to make Look at this contrast. Really old homes over here. Brand new building up here. Really cool. And up here is the Kentucky River that rolls right past Frankfurt.
David, hello. Good to see you. Yeah, this ice storm was a booger this week. It really put the kibosh on my plans to do any walks. I put up a, a video of driving, um, but it was slick. My whole truck was like completely encased in a, a shell of ice. George says, have I received my guidebook from Tokyo Paul? Yes, yeah, I've got it and I've started reading it. Got my highlighter out and we've started, I've started getting ready for the trip, you guys. We are two months away, less than two months away. We leave on April 1st. David says he's moving from California to Berea, just outside of Berea in two weeks. Oh, that's wonderful. Welcome to Kentucky, sir. We're glad to have you. And I'm glad the channel's been useful. Yeah, I can probably say that I am at this point the most prolific Kentucky YouTuber. <laughs> I don't think it's even close, really. Yeah, David, the uh, the ice storms are kind of a unique phenomena here. It uh, it doesn't get cold enough for big giant piles of snow, but every once in a while, every couple of years, we just get freezing rain that just hits the trees, hits the ground, and just completely freezes over. Nice sculpture here. I like that. So all of this. All of this. This is all state government. So that's all state government buildings in Frankfurt. And we'll take a left here. Nightbot dropping knowledge. We got a second channel. Happy Bunny says, any good coffee shops for David to visit in Berea? Yeah, there is. So uh, there is a little coffee shop up on the corner by Boone's Tavern. Um, and man, is it the Berea Bean and Tea Leaf? I can't remember, but it, it's a pretty good shop. It's right there next to the college. And you can get a good cup of coffee there. Uh, I actually think I got a cup of coffee there on stream once. On the Berea video. We did a live walk in Berea. It was, it was a fun walk. Saw a community garden and all kinds of cool stuff. Over there says the John C. Watts Federal Building. So I think that one is a federal courthouse over here, the one in the middle. <laughs> David, uh, well, I'm a 49ers fan and I'm a vegetarian. So uh, it may just be me and you, buddy. Uh, there, there is some good vegetarian food. There's a noodle shop in Berea that's really good and has some vegetarian options. There's quite a few good vegetarian options in Lexington, of course, and some in Richmond. Richmond has Eastern Kentucky University, so you've got a good college population there. And Berea, of course, has Berea College. So you won't be hurting for good food. And of course, there's great Mexican food in um, Kentucky with the horse industry and the tobacco industry. Look at this really old one here on the corner. Really colorful porch. Let's go check that one out. Ron says, what other games are you planning for your gaming channel? Yeah, I'm just getting that gaming channel started. 
Um, I've been playing some uh, PUBG Mobile, which is a little handheld shooter game. Um, and then I'm gonna play GeoGuessr. And I may play some uh, role-playing games on there. Not sure. We'll see how that goes. We'll see if that takes off. The two channels are keeping me really busy, this travel channel and then my, my gear review channel. That kind of looks like it should be in New Orleans, doesn't it? And here's another church. What's this one? St. John's AM Church? Methodist? American Methodist Church? Hmm. All right, and then I think right up here, we're gonna have the old Capitol, if I'm correct. Look at these old buildings, love them. Yeah, this one's really old. What does it say? 1852. That white one is 1852. And then look at this one. Also very pretty. All right, we're heading back into downtown proper here now, away from the kind of state employees and office buildings and into Frankfurt. Historical Museum. Sorry, we're walking into the sun here, so this isn't gonna be a big pic a good picture for a second. But it'll be up. All right, they're playing baseball out here in the yard. I love that. Harleys. Greetings from Frankfort, Kentucky. Ron, I haven't played GTA in years. I had that on my PS2. But I haven't played that in years. I had GTA 1, 2, and 3. And this is kind of the famous stretch here um, with uh, on Broadway. This is the historic um, capital right here. And over here, you've got all kinds of really old school stores. Uh, this is Poor Richard's Books. It's a bookstore that's been there for quite a while. And then Kentucky Coffee Tree Cafe is a nice coffee shop. So let's go check out the old capital. All right, you can see here, the sign says, the Kentucky Old State Capitol, National Historic Landmark. So this is the old Capitol. The new Capitol is up that way about three quarters of a mile. And I think at the end of the stream here, I'll probably be able to drive you up to see it. I don't know if we're gonna have time to, to walk all the way over there today, because I wanted to get a really good downtown walk in, but I think we'll be able to drive up there at the end of the stream. Some aggressive salting because <laughs> of that ice storm. There's a cool fountain. They used to do before COVID, a derby breakfast here that was completely open to the public. And so anybody could come and there'd be a, a big full breakfast with sausage biscuits and pancakes and everything. And it was put on by the Lieutenant Governor, I believe. And quite a tradition that like so many other things, I think was a victim of 
COVID. Frank says, looks like a pretty town. Yeah, it really, it really is. So it's just, it's got that little bit extra. It, there's a college here. It's an HBCU, which is um, a historically black college or university. And that's Kentucky State University located just up the hill that way. I love these, these grounds are so pretty. Hey, Joanne's here. What's up? Some hay. Hey. I don't think there's anything back that way. So let's go check out these stores and walk through downtown. Serafini here on the corner is a really fancy, old school uh, Italian fine dining restaurant. It's been around forever. It's super cool. I've never eaten there though. When I spent a lot of time here, I had no money. And now that I got a little jingle in my pockets, I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> so it might all be lost on me. But yeah, it is a pretty little town. So this downtown is kind of nestled up against the Kentucky River. These train tracks run right through the middle of it. And you've got all these historic buildings and public spaces because it's the capital. Got some cool chalked messages here. Love is love, pride, kindness matters. That's all very good. Love to see that. And that's the best kind of graffiti is graffiti that's filled with love. And graffiti and chalk. <laughs> oh, look at this. So there's a shoe repair business that's been here forever, but they've got seashells kind of embedded in the concrete. An old cobbler. That's pretty neat. That's got to have been here for a long time. And we've got like a party space here. Yeah, like an event space. It's a birthday party. I'm not gonna film that. Oh, look at this. Check that out. We'll go back this way so the sun's at our back and I'll show you these uh, umbrellas. Somebody went through a lot of trouble to string these umbrellas up. I love that. Isn't that neat? I think that's really neat. Yeah, that's cool. All right, we'll head back up to Main Street now, which is up here and then we'll walk down the middle street of downtown Frankfurt. So in between Main and Broadway, there's just a little arcade of stores. So we'll walk down that way. Looks like we've got 18 people watching right now. Welcome everybody. I think it's gonna be a bit of a thing building back my audience. After a couple of really soft weeks, I had a soft week when uh, I had a family member with a medical emergency that caused me to not stream for almost two weeks. And then the ice storm. So it's been a, a soft little period here after Christmas. So thanks for sticking with me, everybody. It means a lot. Ah, Ishdelville says, would you do a POV, virtual exploration in Europe? Well, I have. Uh, I, 
I was in uh, the United Kingdom last year and got to do explorations all over Scotland and England and Wales. That was a blast. And then I've certainly traveled a lot in Europe extensively, but I haven't filmed a lot of it because it was before my channel. So yes, would I like to? Yeah, absolutely. And I think number one on the list in Europe for me is Greece and Italy and Croatia. Would love, and then I used to live in Germany a long time ago. I'd like to go back there. straight in here. This is Main Street and St. Clair is the, the walkable street up here. Welcome to historic Frankfurt. Yeah, Frank, everybody's okay. And thanks, Joanne. Uh, everybody's okay. Just a, a tough stretch there. But life happens, right? We take care of our loved ones and Slow down, stop what we're doing, focus on what matters, and then we get to resume. Oh, look at this. All right, that's the Grand Theater there. What are they playing? Groundhog Day on February 2nd. Nice. Armageddon. Kyler. I don't know Kyler. I know Casablanca. Happy Bunny says Paris. Uh, David. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, I am a military brat. That's right. This might be a good uh, thumbnail right here. If I get the old capital in there. All right. See you, George. Yeah, I love this little stretch here. Uh, David, I love Iceland. I've been to Iceland, had a great trip. Can I ring this bell? Yes, I can. Ring the bell. I bet that's really annoying. Sorry, everybody. Casablanca. Hey, Rockaway, what is up? Uh, yeah, I, David, I love Iceland. Um, one of my favorite trips ever was Iceland. Totally amazing. But you can see this cobblestone street. I love it. Lewis and Clark in Kentucky, Frankfurt Newspapers. Huh. It's the historic sign over there. Maker's Market. Hey. What's up? What are you filming? I'm being nosy. Ah, uh, YouTube. Oh, okay, come here. Don't mind? What's up, man? Did you really? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm doing a, a YouTube walk of uh, what downtown Frankfurt is like. Well, come on in. All right, I will. Check out the new addition to so, downtown Frankfurt. What's your place called? Cap City Cigar Bar. I'm Cap Tony. City. Tony? This is Tony, everybody. He hey, just opened a new business. My co owner. What's up, man? Cody. Cody? Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. All right, so we've got a cigar bar downtown in Frankfurt now, and you just opened? Yeah, it's January 1. Awesome. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you. Yeah, Thank appreciate you. it. Appreciate it. What's yeah, your name? Uh, my name is, well, I don't say my name on the channel, okay. uh, but Bit of a Wander <laughs> is the channel now. Okay, okay. Bit yeah. of a Wander. Bit I like of a that. Wander, like yeah. Cool, man. So I do walks uh, all over uh, the U.S., and uh -huh. I'm based here in Kentucky, so I like to do small towns in Kentucky. That's awesome, man. That's awesome, man. Thanks for including us. Yeah, you got it. Well, you guys, good yes, luck sir, with man. your business. Thank you, man. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Stay Everybody, if you're, in, if you're in Frankfurt, come down and see the cigar bar. What's the what, what what's the name? Cap City Cigar Bar. Cap City Cigar Bar. Yes, sir. Good luck, you guys. Stay safe. Yeah. Well, that's fun. Smelled great in there. Good luck to them. I love it when people take a risk and start up a new business. I think it's awesome. We have here the Patio Pub. That place looks cool too. One day after another. 
Okay, no problem. One day after another, when you get to this spot, you'll hear that I said, no problem. Welcome. All kinds of little bars and restaurants. Mortimer Bibbs Public House. That looks like an Irish place over there. The Frankfurt School of Ballet and Mi Fiesta. That's an old brick building. That one's been there a long time. And then this is Serafini over here and a buffalo mural. That's kind of cool, isn't it? And Serafini, like I said. And then we'll walk down this way past the, uh, the coffee shop and the bookstore and we'll take the next street up again. We'll, go, we'll try and go find the river. Here's an antique business. And some pottery too, beautiful. Kentucky art. I like that bench. That's really cool. I don't really know. Yeah. All right, this is Lewis Street. Looks like a little alley here. Let's head up this street. It looks too like we've got a mural on this street, which is very neat. Oh, look at this. Isn't that cool? Look at that mural. I love it. That's really neat. I like how all the flowers are coming out of that bottle that the kid is holding. That's so cool. Yeah, happy, happy bunny. It's been a, Frankfurt's a friendly place and they really care about their downtown. That's for sure. So it's been a, a fun day for talking to, talking to folks. But Kentucky's like that. Hey, fairy elephants here, what's up? We're just wandering around uh, Frankfurt, downtown Frankfurt. This is the capital of Kentucky. Here's a, an art gallery here. Ah, oh, look, got a little, little free library. That's always cool. The BPOE, the Benevolent Paternal Order of the Elks, I believe. All right, back to Main Street. I hope everybody's having a lovely day. We got another mural here. Let's cross the street so we can see it. Looks like we got some 3D birds. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty, I like that. That's the state bird of Kentucky, the Cardinal. And then we've got a hummingbird. A barn swallow maybe? I'm not great with birds. I knew a couple of them. looking down Main Street. We've got the Main Street Diner here with burgers and fries and such. Let's head this way. I want to say there's a brewery over here that I saw last time I was here. 
They kind of sat right up against the, the river. And there's an amazing mural over here that I want to show you guys. Uh, Joanne, you said you've got some books you'd like to donate? If you drive around in Lexington, you'll find some of those. The, the, they're called Little Free Libraries. And you can put books in any of them, and you can also borrow books. Um, and it's such a cool concept. I love it. Hey, Audi's here. What's up? Nobody, nobody nearby. What is this? The Weisiger House at the Sign of the Golden Eagle. Mm. Wow. Okay. This is a big giant bank here. We've been walking everybody for about 40 minutes in downtown Frankfurt. I hope you're having fun. I certainly am. And when we get done with our, our walk, we're going to hop in the beast and I'm going to drive you up to the state capitol so we can go see the state capitol together. I think that'd be, I think that'd be a good thing to do. But first I've got to show you this awesome mural over here, which I just love. Yeah, here's Goodwood Brewing. It's a brewery. And then you can start to see the mural peeking its head out there. And for Audi and Fairy Elephant and everybody else in the chat who is from England, we've got a surprise over here. We've got a phone booth, if you can see it. Let's go check it out. And this is Goodwood. This is the brewery that I was talking about that kind of sits over the river. It's a really good restaurant too. It's a brewery and brew pub. There you go. Check this out. Isn't that awesome? I love it. I just think that is so awesome. I love the way the sun is hitting it right now. So amazing. And this is part of the art. Look at this, beautiful and brave. How beautiful and brave we are. Brave in love and kindness and in peace, learning from the wisdom of the natural world and the animal kingdom. We are one with all things. This mural is a representation of a unified love between all. Every being of life connected by the divine love of the universe, surrounded by a glowing gold background reflecting the riches and beauty of the world. Symbols of resourcefulness, the fox, courage, the tiger, community, and bee, our bees, and new beginnings. We look to a bright future. This is the message of the mural, Anna and Paula Murphy. Wow. Pretty cool. Fetch your refrigerator, people. That really is neat. Wow. Love that. That might be the best mural in Kentucky. It just looks so cool. Let's go check the river real quick.
You see that's the, the brewery's little patio that hangs out over the water. Really cool place. All right, let's go find the beast. I want to show you guys the capital. Can't get over how cool that is. Yeah, really awesome. Some really old buildings here, like really old. The John Hampton House, the earliest surviving stone house in the city built before 1840. Wow. 1840, that's a long time ago. But all these houses are really old down here. We do not have the light, even though all this traffic has stopped. Thirty people watching right now. Hello, welcome. Fantastic to see everybody. Okay, now we have the light. Uh, and all thirty of you got here just in time because we're about to hop in the truck and drive up this road right here to the Kentucky State Capitol. Oh, that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Four Twenty High Street. Audi, yeah, we're doing well. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, High Street. Do you get it? Lord. So, here is the Thomas D. Clark Center for Kentucky History. So, that's the History Museum and Society right here. <laughs> Frank, isn't that hilarious? <laughs> Um, but the truck's right down here. We're going to hop in and drive up and see the Kentucky State Capitol together. Yeah, somebody's got a sense of humor. <laughs> it looked like a real sign, too, didn't it? Instead of, I mean, it didn't look like somebody just slapped a 420 on High Street because High Street was scooted off to the right there. That's funny. Just a second here. Okay. He stopped. There's some people up to no good, some shenanigans over there. <laughs> we won't bother them. I think they're doing actually a, a photo shoot, changing, cl changing clothes for a photo shoot. All right, here is the truck. So let's hop in. It needs a wash too after this terrible weather we've been having. If you, if you guys aren't familiar with the channel, this is the beast. This is how we get around. And uh, that thing up on top, that's a tent so that we can uh, go anywhere in the country and just pull over and sleep. Alrighty. Let me undo the video here real quick and we'll get this hooked up for dash cam mode. Let's clean some gunk off the windshield so y'all can see. And I'm gonna 
roll my windows down because it's kind of a nice day. And we're going to go up to the Capitol building. So we'll circle the block here and head up to the Capitol building. Really great to see everybody today. Thank you so much for joining. And it's just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to, to be uh, with you guys again after uh, a soft couple of weeks. Rockaway Siren says, never did learn how to drive a car. Okay, yeah, Karina, I think the ice storm was even worse where you were than where I was. So I'm glad that you're thawing out. Rockaway, I will say that uh, driving a car, I think, is one of the great joys in life. Um, the, the purest sense of freedom. Well, unless you're in a traffic jam in LA, um, but uh, just being able to strike out and drive across the country, and if you can manage to slap a tent on top, then it does double duty. Extra freedom, the most freedom, super freedom. like a bald eagle holding an American flag level of freedom. All right, so we'll head right up here over the tracks. Hey, MacGuffin's here. What is up, MacGuffin? And we are headed. Oh, Rockaway, you drive a motorcycle? Hot dang, that's even more freedom. I didn't know that. That's cool. I trade you. I gotta hang on to this one, man. Nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate that. <laughs> uh, that guy wanted to trade. Not happening. I get that a lot. Not trade offers. Uh, but uh, all right. So if you're just joining, we are driving to the um, Kentucky State Capitol right now. So we're gonna come up here and hang a right across the bridge and go check out the Capitol together. See if, uh, see if we can find the floral clock too. That's a thing. There's a big floral clock up here at the Capitol. So we are turning right up here onto 60 West and we'll head straight down 60 West all the way to the Capitol. We might even be able to see the governor's mansion. asking if uh, I would trade my truck for his. He had a Ford Explorer. So he was saying he liked my truck, basically. Oh, look at the scaffolding up here. So it looks like the dome of the Capitol is under a scaffolding right now. I was unaware of that. So all the way down this road is the State Capitol building. Let's go check it out. straight down straight down the main drag here all the way to the Capitol So High Street really is 420. That is unbelievable. All right, that 
that is the that is the state capital of Kentucky right there and I'm gonna take us up around here in this roundabout and we're gonna try and find parking near the floral clock uh, they've got some parking shut down here Here's some parking right here. All right, let's see here. I'm going to go gimbal-less for this little walk up to the Capitol. So, Please forgive a little bit of bumpiness. Well, let's go check out the Capitol building. There we go. Really pretty. You can see the grounds of the state capitol here. What a pretty building. And I guess they're repairing the dome and there's people up there working right now. That's cool. Let's go see if we can find the floral clock. I doubt there will be much floral. Uh, no, MacGuffin, you're correct. I have a crack in my windshield. And uh, I just need, it's, it's actually free for me to get it fixed. There's a state law in Kentucky that uh, insurance companies have to replace a broken windscreen for free. I just, uh, I just have a problem with getting things done on time. <laughs> oh, happy bunny, thank you. Yeah, this has been a fun time. We're, we're, we're spending about an hour together today and I've enjoyed every minute of it. Frank, see you soon. Thanks so much. It's great to see you. We're going to come up here and check out the floral clock together, and that's probably about the end of the stream. Oh my gosh, MacGuffin, that sounds like a direct translation of the annoying jingle from the United States, which is safe glass repair, safe glass replace, <laughs> car glass repair, eat, car glass tout. Tausch e Tausch house? Yeah. <laughs> same I bet it's the same company. Safe glass repair, safe glass replace. Same thing. That's hilarious. Alright. So this is the Capitol building, and this is what's called the Capitol Annex. And both buildings are very important for Kentucky's government. You can see here these barriers that pop up out of the ground to prevent people from driving through here. And this is the floral clock. It's kind of a big deal. And in the summer and the spring, safe light repair. It's safe light, safe light repair, safe light replace. <laughs> But this is all filled with flowers. And this is a fountain that um, that's all filled with water. And so it's really, I promise, very impressive. Oh my God. So in Canada, it's speedy glass repair, speedy glass replace. <laughs> that's hilarious. We've uncovered something we all have in common across the entire globe. This is Kentucky's floral clock. It's planted with 13,000 something, something, and something plants. <laughs> the clock is one of the largest in the world. It's similar to the famous clocks in Edinburgh and Niagara Falls. The planter alone is 34 feet in diameter and weighs 200,000 pounds. That's quite a clock. All right, and here's another beautiful view of the Capitol building. It is a pretty day today, isn't it? You can see the folks up there. All the way up there. 
working on the dome. I am so scared of heights, I would never do that. Wow. So cool. Sorry y'all, you can't go through here. That big old magnolia tree, it's pretty. Well, you guys, this has been a fun walk. Thank you so much for coming with me. Yeah, you guys can Google Kentucky Floral Clock and you can see a picture of it. Um, all decked out and with the, the water and the flowers and everything. It's really cool. But everybody, I just wanted to say thanks one more time. Uh, what a fun walk today, seeing downtown, um, running into all kinds of people in the neighborhood, and also enjoying a little trip to the, the Capitol building. So I think tonight I'm going to grab some dinner with the family and we're gonna watch Black Panther 2 um, which just started streaming for free or whatever I pay for it on Disney Plus um, so I'm gonna watch Black Panther 2 and probably have some Indian takeout food tonight I hope you all have a wonderful day whatever's left of it where you are and I will see you a couple of times next week now that the weather is much better very much looking forward to it. All right, you guys, thanks a ton. And I think I'll end the stream by walking directly into this tree. It'll be pretty cool. Here we go.